People whose job requires them to deliver items or work inside other people's homes what's the most NSFW thing you've seen? Not particularly NSFW, but the strangest encounter I had was when my firm was fitting a new kitchen and bathroom into an elderly gentleman's flat. When we walked through his living room, in order to access the kitchen there was an unbearable wall of sound. He had a dozen or so TV sets all switched to different channels with the volume turned up to maximum on every one. It felt like something out of Clockwork Orange. He took great pride in telling me about his photographic memory and how he was able to follow the plots of every show simultaneously. Went to deliver a pizza and walked up the front steps to be greeted by a kid with just a shirt on who then proceeded to just piss on the ground while staring at me. The mom came out and saw him and was just like what are you doing silly? Went to a person's home to fix their phone. Guy came out with a black sheen of grease looking substance on his jacket he was wearing, which I realized was due to him never changing clothes. His white did was dark brown down the middle where tobacco spit had been staining it. His half a trailer you could smell from 50 feet away. Walked up to the door with him hit with an awful smell of death, bus, and cigarettes. I took one step inside, and on my right we are around 10 animal crates all loaded with cats that looked dead and weren't moving covered with roaches and black shit. The ceiling was one big cobweb. Everything in the home was stained brown and there were no other colors, literally. Turning to my left his counter covered and crawling with roaches with years old dishes it looked like stacked with mold and leftover food. The phone was on the wall next to me by the door. He told me it didn't have a dial tone and thought the jack might be the problem. It was a square jack that you stick onto a wall or baseboard it didn't have to be screwed in or anything. So I reach up and try to pull the cover off, but the wallpaper came with it, and hundreds of roaches spewed forth going in every direction, crawling onto the ceiling and falling off. I looked at the man and he seemed completely unapologetic, or phased in any way, so I said hey I'm sorry, but no I'm not doing this. I started walking out, and he was asking what about my phone. I said sorry buddy, but you'll just have to get a cell phone or something else. That was the worst living house I'd ever been to. A funny one. Kinda weird dude took me into his room to fix his internet, and he had two computers side by side on a desk. Nothing was out of the ordinary, except a framed picture of a 70s vagina right next to his monitor. He finally realized it was there, looked back at me, turned back around to the computer, and just laid the picture flat, and carried on like nothing. I've also seen whips and dildos aplenty. A dude that had 150 plus chickens, lived in a farmhouse. Okay, cool, you're on a farm. Rock on with your bad self. Except, 60 of those chickens lived inside. It was a total clusterfuck. He had those grandma style clear plastic covers over all the furniture. Everything was caked in chicken shit. Shit on the floor, shit on the furniture. He had a favorite chicken that slept with him. Obviously, it pooped on him a lot while he was sleeping. The entire house reeked. He said that he was an army veteran and that the chickens were his therapy animals. Yep, all 150 of them. Worst part is that he had an adopted daughter that he let live like that. The daughter was away visiting relatives. When protective services showed up and told him that the kid couldn't live like that and he had to get rid of the chickens. He stated that his daughter could stay overseas because he wasn't getting rid of the chickens. Also been to a cat hoarder house. 75 plus cats. Some were feral and lived in the rafters of the basement. The smell was overwhelming. Cat shit on all surfaces. The house reeked of ammonia, even when you were outside on the porch. I smelled so badly after being in there for just 2 hours that I had to wash all of my clothing and my hair. Twice couldn't get the smell out of my nylon watch band and had to toss it. She is now down to only 40 cats. I started installing fiber in people's houses for my internship around 6 months ago and the third house was easily the worst. I got out of my truck and walked down to the house and I noticed that there was a rather disgusting odor and it got stronger and stronger as I was going towards this meth shack of a house. I knock on the door and a lady opened up with her nightgown on and her 20 or so. Yes you read that right. Cats were in the background meowing up a fucking choir. I told her where I'd be running the cat 6. Told her that where I'll install the access point. And told her where I'll be installing the odd box. 
She said that was all fine and dandy and got out of my way so I can do my work. I start with feeding the cat 6 through the wall do it can reach the access point where it's behind her TV stand. So I feed it through and go to the TV stand and that's when it hit me. There was an enormous aroma of cat piss that came from that corner. Keep in mind the house already stinked of cat piss, but it was concentrated in this one corner. I hold my breath and move the TV stand, and what I saw is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my 19 years of existence. There was cat piss that was caked on and slugged into the phone jack that looked like cloudy lemon jello. I was so shocked by what I have seen that I accidentally gasped and the scent went into my nose. I ran outside and threw up my breakfast. The lady asked if I was okay and I told her that I was fine and went back to finish the job. So I go back to work and start moving some shit off the TV stand for more room and low and behold another discovery. When I was unplugging the av cables I noticed little brown speckles on the prongs and I saw who was responsible for that crawling out form under the TV. It was a cockroach, and that was cockroach shit on the halfway plugged in av cables. I calmly got up, called my boss, and told him that I'm leaving. He asked why, and I sent some pics, and he told me to get the hell out of there. Not really NSFW but definitely WTF. I delivered food to a guy's house, and right next to his door was his dining table. He had his entire dining table covered with bananas spaced perfectly and evenly apart. Not sure what the fuck that was about. A lesbian couple had a collection of dildos on display in the windowsill, and another time I went to this old dude's house, and he had statues of naked little boys everywhere. In my last job I was a lead based paint inspector. For this job I was at an apartment complex doing the test. Some quick background. To do the test there is a gun called an XRF. It shoots small amounts of radiation out and tells me if it's lead. You have to do this to all the walls. So I went into one unit where young lady and her parents lived. I finished up the living room and went into her bedroom. I got two walls done and went to the third. But by doing so I had to walk around the bed. That's when she started walking but I cut her off because I was walking faster. I needed to test under the window. I put my hand on the windowsill to help brace myself. That when I felt it, it was silicon. I looked up, and right at eye level was a black dildo. She was standing behind me. I didn't say a word to anyone just kept on with my job. It was 3 hours later, before I could tell the my cow walker, a lady my age, I touched a dildo. She laughed I laughed then she gave me hand sanitizer. My boss called, and I told him this story. He laughed, and then asked for hazard pay. I didn't get it. TL. Doctor I accidentally touched a random girl's dildo in her room with her standing behind me. I decided to call CPS on a tweaker family BC the house had no heat. It was January, in Indiana. The kids looked filthy, underfed, and cold. The house was completely empty besides one TV the kids were huddled around. Saddest thing I've seen. Posted about this before, but, when I was doing HVAC, my office got a call from a house about a vent not blowing, and, since they were trying to sell the house, and had several showings that day they asked, if someone could be sent out. I was sent out. I got to the house and the homeowner, older, mature lady, but still had a banging body, and was definitely mill for jilf material, and the agent took me to the room, explained the situation. I go up in the attic. Find a torn flex line, tell them it's an easy fix and I should be done in about 15 to 20 minutes. I go to my truck, grab what I need, head up in the attic, fix the flex line, check a few other things, come out of the attic, walk into the hall, as I look over the railing, down into the living room area. The real estate agent has got the homeowner laid out on the couch, legs over his shoulders, blouse open, skirt hiked up over her hips, drilling her like he's expecting to hit oil anytime. I just walked downstairs, went out the front door, put my stuff in my truck, wrote out a receipt, and smoked a cigarette while I was waiting. About 10 minutes later, the lady comes out, signs the receipt, thanks me for coming out so fast and not disturbing them. Hands me a $100 tip, and tells me have a nice day. I didn't complain. I was once advised never do a job, where you have to go into someone's house. My story only reinforces that. I was living in Oz installing skylights. 
we went to a house that had recently had a new extension built on it to put velux windows in the new ceiling. Fairly simple matter, nothing overly complicated about. The new build, whilst not decorated, was pristine, immaculately clean, plenty of natural light and still smelled of the pine battens used for the walls. At one point though I had to go into the old part of the house, I forget why. I opened the door and the smell of cat piss hit me in the face like a literal wall. There was dried up white shit all over the floor, all the curtains were drawn, and there was a thick layer of fudgy dust over everything. It was like someone had built a spooky haunted house in a fresh new building as some sort of themed attraction. Except it was the other way round. I couldn't for the life of me figure out why you'd attach a very expensive new build to what felt like a mausoleum. Unless you were then going to demolish the mausoleum immediately after. I never met the owners, but from the decor and general ambience I could only presume they were about 150, totally blind and with zero sense of smell. I'll never forget that house. I still see it in my dreams occasionally. No furniture at all, except mattresses on the floor all over. Living room, mattresses, kitchen, no table, more mattresses. Need to get to the electric panel. All other suites have the panel in the bedroom. Asks me to wait. Like 10 women in Burkas moved from bedroom to stand facing the corner in the living room. Go into bedroom to check panel, more mattresses. Car plug breaker was tripped, that's all. Flipped it on and left. I used to do home restoration, which was mostly mold removal under houses. My company also did vent cleaning, which required us to be in every single room of a person's home. I worked with some real religious types, myself being a pretty open atheist. We do a house in the middle of nowhere. A really lovely older gay couple. House was very clean nice art, some questionably erotic photos of them. They let us eat lunch in their kitchen, talk to us all day. My religious cowalker was pretty cool, very much a not my thing, but it's okay if it is yours. Apostrophe. Until we get to the computer room. Gay porn everywhere. Stacks and stacks of gay fetish magazines, highly erotic art, a dildo shelf. The final straw straw that left me, laughing. Finishing the job alone were their mouse pads. Each one was just a hunky man with a massive rod. I uncovered the sklan by moving the mouse, and my co-worker just threw up his hands, and said it was more than he could handle. TL. Dr. Butt loads of gay porn. I was to appraise a house for a real estate transaction. I was told about the enormous porn collection before I went in but nothing could prepare me for it. Just mountains of magazines, VHS tapes, DVDs, everything, everywhere. It looked like a porn shop had closed down and this guy refused to let it go. There were pathways made between the stacks to get through the house. The home ER where didn't really talk much and just sorta of pretended it wasn't there. We both did. There were some locked rooms and I wasn't about to ask a guy like this to show me behind locked doors and I could tell he appreciated that. I remember it was all freaky and weird unique porn. Like there was nothing I wanted to check out. The bad people's corner. I was doing flood restoration work and went to a call. Sometimes you get a weird vibe from their homeowner and this was no different. Guy tells me that the water is in the basement and points to the door. I tell him you go first and show me the way because I'm not getting that door slammed shut behind me and becoming someone's gym. As I walk down the stairs, I look to the left and see a KKK outfit on a mannequin, a Charles Manson clock in the wall, and way too much Nazi memorabilia. He notices my pause and says don't worry, that's just the bad people's corner. Luckily there was almost no water damage and I nope the hell out of there. I was doing direct installs, and on my first job on my own I was tasked to install in an apartment building. I walked into this older black guy's efficiency apartment, and on the wall behind his bed were pictures of big buff black dudes with their anacondas descending towards earth with incredible purpose. I've also been in a dirty house with a big old jelly dong just hanging out on the bathroom sink staring at us as we delivered a bed frame. I've been in houses that are so absolutely disgusting that they can be smelled from the sidewalk. One was a couple with a mentally challenged child. The inside of the house had stuff just piled against the walls. Kind of like a skateboard pipe of garbage. The house absolutely reeked. The kids room was so disgusting. It smelled of old person cum. It was absolutely the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. 
to boot, the neighbor must smoke in their upstairs room and throw bag seeds out the window onto the porch roof. There was a marijuana plant growing in the gutter. I went back towards the end of the summer, and it was till there, poorly flowered. Also did an install, and had to get into this lady's basement. She was a first aid professor at the college in Akron. She had two dogs there. When I asked to get into her basement she questioned if I really had to. It was a brick house, so that was the option. She went into the basement before I went down there, and with a snow shovel, pushed all the dog shit into one pile. We are talking a mound of dog shit in her basement. She told me she had been in the hospital for two weeks and that was her excuse. It was absolutely disgusting. I have many many other stories. Shit like this is far more common than anybody would recognize. Some people live in places that are absolute shitholes. It always baffles me, because you'd figure they'd get sick or something, 